Uh, you know, I get a lot of people that want to know more about marking. A good friend of mine uh, called a couple days ago and said, look, I need some help. My dog is really good in, in almost every aspect of things, but he's an area marker. He's not a spot marker. So I'm going to give a little demonstration on how to increase a dog's ability to mark spots as opposed to running out and looking around until they find something. The, the, the place that I got this idea was many years ago there was a very very well-known dog trainer that developed dogs. His name was Max Darling and today people don't know about him but when I first started out training, he was a person that would develop dogs and people, mostly pros, would end up getting these dogs from him and they'd go on to start them. But, and his, his specialty was developing dogs, especially good marking dogs. And one day I was training with Max and he said, look, I've got a problem with this dog. He's an area marker and I need to start getting him to pinpoint birds to mark the spot. So he gave me a box of bird box and it had 25 pigeons in it. And he said, go out there. And I went out about a hundred yards and I said, Max, you know, I don't know where the, you know, pigeons are kind of erratic. And I said, I can sort of get them. Where do you want them? He says, I don't care where they go. Just throw them and shoot them. So I'd throw a bird and shoot it. Well, the first dog that came out ran all over the place, finally found it. After about three or four birds, I said, Max, you know, I'm, this is, is, is this really helping? The dog's running all over the place. He said, wait. He said, after a while, he's going to get tired of running all over the place, and he's going to start paying attention to where these birds are landing. And sure enough, after about eight or ten birds, the dog was starting to mark where they went and differentiating one spot versus a spot he had been just minutes ago. And um, we can't do that today very much because it, in those days pigeons were 35 cents a piece. Now it would cost a fortune to teach a dog to mark using pigeon flyers. But I have sort of used that, that information and and part of a drill that I do uh, and changed it around to pull off the same thing. I take my basic Y drill and throw a, a configuration of birds on one side of the gunner to teach him to start to mark spots. But a, I want to caution you, this is an advanced drill. Do not take a young dog out and do this because it's going to confuse them and it's going to make things worse. But an advanced dog that's already a good marker, you can do this drill and start to tighten up where they're watching, where the fall is going to that spot. So um, I'm going to get Mr. Smoke here to run out and demonstrate how this goes. So we'll set that up and we'll be right back. Now we're using white bumpers. The reason we're doing that is because I want the camera to be able to see the bumper well. So normally I would use orange bumpers, but for this demonstration, it's gonna be white bumpers. Medium throws. Ready? Sit. 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 Back. Sit. So now this would be a flat throw.
back. Okay. Here. Sit. Sit. Back. Sit. 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 Back. Straight in. Sit. 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 Back. Good. Okay. So that's the um, sit. Good boy. All right. So that's the drill. Now, the first question is going to be, well, what happens if they go to an old fall? <coughs> In the beginning, you're going to let them hunt and sort of see if they can discover on their own the fact they're, they're in the wrong place. As they get more advanced, let's say, for instance, if you give an angle back and they get it, and then you give an angle in, and they run through the angle in to the angle back, you can stop and handle and teach by handling. With advanced dogs, they learn by handling. So it's a simple handle. It doesn't have a necessary correction. Just tweet, there's where it is. And you keep doing that, and when they make a big mistake, handle. If they're hunting the area, you let them go. If they get into an old fall, tweet, cast to where the fall actually is. So. This will not do anything for you in one sitting, but if you do this as a drill regularly with an ad advanced dog, it will be amazing how sharp his marking ends up being. I've got a lot of experience on this one thing, teaching dogs to mark spots, and this is one of the key ingredients, is to practice this a lot. It's, um, you'll see over a period of a few months that the dog will change from an area marker to a pinpoint marker. Now I want to add a couple of comments. First of all, this is not a drill that you would use on a young dog that's learning how to mark in the first place because they're not used to handling on marks yet maybe. So this is for a dog definitely that handles well, is already what you would call an advanced dog. It also should be done with orange bumpers in moderate cover so that you can tell if a dog is marking. You don't want a dog to get halfway there and see the bird because it's a white bumper. You want him to have to mark where it is and find it with, with his nose if possible. So. Uh, that's, a, that's a caution. And when you first start out, you might want to have a modified version where you just have maybe three different birds on one side of the gunner before you put six different birds, like I just did, on one side of the gunner. But again, I just want to say this 
is for advanced dogs. If you do it frequently, you're the, the, the dog will begin to mark spots as opposed to running out and hunting a large area.